Why acceptance is toxic. We're all familiar with the old saw from the Alcoholics Anonymous. Grant me the serenity to accept those things I cannot change. The trouble is, it has a built-in trap that most of us are just not aware of. When we accept something, we take it into our space and become it. We become what it is we accept. Somehow someone got it into their furry little head that if we accept those things that cause us pain and discomfort, it magically leads to freedom from those sources of pain and discomfort. Newsflash, nah, been there, done that, doesn't work. When we allow something, it means it is flowing past us and around us like water flowing around a rock in a river. I've come to the awareness that what we really mean is to allow. Allowance and acceptance are two very different things. To accept something, we take it in, like a sponge. To confuse these two concepts, I believe, is a serious error, especially when it comes to quantum living. To accept something means to entangle with it. Our photons, atoms, and molecules are literally mixing in with that unwanted condition we've chosen not to experience like some sort of penance where we believe if we endure and suffer long enough, it will eventually lead to some form of divine grace and relieve us of our burdens. It's so unnecessary, so inefficient. Replace accept with allow for those things you want to change. Grant me the serenity to allow those things I cannot change. Put you in a much more empowered position. Those things you cannot change simply flow around you and float off and out of your universe. Try this out on those things in your life causing you pain, those things causing you grief, suffering, disillusionment, disempowerment. Replace accept with allow. Allow those things to float on by, wave at them as they saunter off into the distance, then get busy choosing something different. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.